So here we go, this is the very familiar Freewing Jazz 39 Gripen and uh, flies really, really well. Enjoy, really do enjoy, enjoy flying this on 6S 4000 packs. I use HRBs that I bought off Amazon. Really good, really, really good packs. Um, so what have I done differently this time? I have um, put the thrust vectoring unit on the back and I've mixed uh, that in with rudder and elevator. So it's a, it's a separate unit that you get from Motion RC and you cut off the existing one that you would have put on originally and then glue that on the back and use two extra channels on your, uh, your receiver and then you're ready to go. Also using a Bavarian Demon Cortex Pro Gyro because that's what all the flashy jet turbine pilots use and I thought I'll have some of that. So I've put in one of those should uh, a fun little gadget to experiment with and uh, is used by my good friend Steve Johnson on his particularly expensive hovering turbine jets and he says oh, it adds a lot of stability. So now I, I think this is going to be fun to play with but at the end of the day it does not have the power to thrust the thrust to weight ratio that a turbine will have but it will be, still be fun to uh, try out do some flat spins and some tight loops and stuff like that so let's get it in the air. Let's see how it flies. Ready, Jason? All born ready, mate. All right. Well, let's, uh, the sun's over there, so let's uh, do this from the top end. And this was a retrofit, wasn't it, Dom? Yeah. You, you I, had I it really, prior. I really liked the gripping before I fitted this, but I'm intrigued. And it was easy to retrofit? Yeah. Even yeah, though it was glued on? Yeah, they you everything that you need, even the servo extension leads to, you take the rudder off, for the, the vertical stab off first, and then you put it on and then you route with the extension leads all the way to the front and plug into your receiver and then set up your mixes. Nice. So it's not hard to do. It's always a bit of a problem getting this model off the deck. You almost have to hit a hit a bump to help you get it in the air. I have seen online people 3D printing a bracket to extend the nose wheel. That would make sense. Just to bring the nose up a few degrees. Yeah, yeah, a bit more angle of attack. Yeah. Or maybe I'll print you one, Dom. Thanks, mate. All right, here we go. So thrust vectoring is currently off. That was pretty good, yeah. That was pretty good for a flat spin. That was nice, yeah. Always good to try this high, I think, before you do it low. And it's a delta, so it recovers quite quickly, I'd say. <laughs> so you kind of have to go neutral on the sticks and let it let it settle. Not so good as in pitch as I thought it would be. That's leaving thrust vectoring on.
fantastic into wind. <laughs> but downwind, pick the power up. Right, one more of those and then I'll do some low high alpha. So I think the trick is to leave yourself enough height to recover. <laughs> what were you talking about enough height to recover then? <laughs> what happened there? I really have to think about what happened there. So I'm I'm in thrust vectored mode and I'm pulling back on the stick and before I know it I'm in a I'm in a really high angle of attack. And what I wanted to do was take it out of thrust vectoring, so, and I didn't get time to, to do that before it touched the tail on the deck. <laughs> Not too hard though, I think you'll be alright. Not all right. too hard. Let's go, shall we go and see? <laughs> let's let's, let's watch see. Dom do the walk of shame. <laughs> oh my god. So what have I done? Nose has departed, that's easily pushed back on, and then. <laughs> So you just, I think you've just pulled the ring off, haven't you? Yeah. And a gear door, another gear door. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I've taken that gear door Oh, what's off this anyway. from then? Yeah, this is from the front, Gwyn. Oh, that. Oh, well, I'm not worried about gear doors. Well, look, so I've snapped that. And that on there. <laughs> so, do you know what? I think this is my point. If, I, if this was a turbine model and not EDF, I would have had immediate, almost immediate power and I could have powered out of that. But I'd reached kind of a maximum power, maximum thrust when I was at about 45 degrees and I had nothing left. So it was, it was, just, it was just coming in more and more tail. It hover, was that a hover for like, a, it was a hover for a, a second. A descending hover. A descending hover. <laughs> and of course the... Uh, the debris. The debris. <laughs> So um, I'd love to, I, I really would like to do one of these, but with a turbine. Well, maybe we can get a more powerful fan for it. I think, you think, you yeah, think? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe, maybe we'll try that. So this is episode one. I think we learned that it will do some nice flat spins. You need a lot of height to recover. No, nose over tail, pretty good, but low, you kind of run out of power quite quickly. So we'll do this again with a higher power EDF system, and then we might go to a turbine. Thanks for watching Essential RC. Always entertaining, I hope. Thanks to Jason on camera, and we'll see you for the next one really soon. Cheers, bye.
So I think the trick is to leave yourself enough height to recover. <laughs> what were you talking about enough height to recover, Daniel? <laughs>